Insomniac perfected Spider-Man, and they perfected the formula for superhero games, you know, in the modern gaming era that we're in now. How do you stand out when you're in a genre that is filled with movies over the last decade? You know, with the release of Iron Man, Marvel has been in full blast, superhero movies have been in full blast, DC included. So many Spider-Man movies since 2008, including Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, then Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So you have so many different interpretations. Um, so you have to find new and innovating ways to step out of those shadows. Uh, Sony Spider-Man is an original story, takes place with Spider-Man a couple years into his run. He hasn't met some big, big, big iconic villains like Green Goblin or Doc Ock or Venom yet. But he does have a long history with Rhino, with Electro, with Scorpion, with Kingpin. He has a history, a long history, with a lot of these villains, but again, he doesn't have his main villains like you would, or the people that you would consider his arch nemesis, nemesis like the Green Goblin and Doc Ock. So that's what the story of Spider-Man PS4 is telling. It is telling a, a, an original tale of Spider-Man. I guess the main point of this video is I don't really talk about games. I don't really sit down and talk about my favorite games of all. And Spider-Man, Sony Spider-Man is, is definitely on that list, along with Red Dead Redemption 2, with The Last of Us Part 1 with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, with Uncharted. You know, those are some of my favorite games of all time, and I wanna make a little series talking about those particular games. But moving to the topic at hand with Spider-Man. I recently played uh, on the PS2, the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 1, and it was just nostalgic. It was nostalgic hearing everything, hearing Tobey speak. Um, and then you have so many amazing games that came out after that, like Spider-Man Web of Shadows, and just games that are famous and cool. And it felt like it was a long time before we got a proper superhero game since those times. So when Spider-Man uh, PS4 released and it was announced, actually, it took the public and the world by storm. I've had a difficult time separating sometimes certain characters from the game or certain characters from a movie and stuff like that. So when I played this I was just hoping that it wasn't like a carbon copy of like the movies I was hoping that it wasn't like Tom Hollandy I was hoping that it was it had like its own story and it delivered Sony's PS4 is like it's its own thing it's its own world its own Spider-Man its own Avengers it gives you little bits of the world outside of New York of the world outside of just Spider-Man but it doesn't give you too much it just it gives you hints to like the Doctor Strange to the Reed Richards to Iron Man to all of the Avengers it gives you hints of him but he, it doesn't it doesn't show off anything yet I also really love the approach that you're an older Spider-Man you're still not like 30 or 40 or anything like that but you are an older Spider-Man you're not in high school you're outside of high school you're in your mid-20s you're figuring stuff out um, so you already have some of that experience under your belt and I think that makes an even more unique Spider-Man and even more emotional Spider-Man as well and more relatable because a lot of us and a lot of the people that are playing them we grew up with Spider-Man as the years went on we were kids and now we're adults and it's more relatable so it, it just it hit the nail on the head I mean Insomniac perfected Spider-Man and perfected the superhero game. This particular video didn't really have a big purpose. I just kind of wanted to talk about one of my favorite games and get some feedback from you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you've thought about Spider-Man and are you excited for the sequel?